Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial um, of Grasshopper and in this session we're gonna uh, teach you how to create a serial sections using Bison or a section serial uh, using Bison. So in a previous um, tutorial I taught how to import a mesh DM. So for that we use this tool import mesh DM we create a file path we define the file path once um, with a TIF or a TIF um, raster and our sample number and also our X and Y dimension. So as I mentioned before, the sample is represents how coarse, how smooth will be our detail and how smooth will be our terrain. Meanwhile, the X and Y dimension is just, just represent the number of pixels that you will have in each, in each dimension. So if you have a raster of 5 meters, by 5 meters, I mean a raster with that pixel value, and you put 1, it will be 5 by 5. But if you put 2, it will be 10 meters. So it has a multiplication effect that you need to be careful. Um, previously, I mentioned when we have to correct the orientation because Python, for some reason, doesn't or orient the mesh in the correct angle. So if you put here a mesh, this is the correct the angle that it's imported. This is the angle that it is imported, assuming that the Y it is the north. And if you go to the QGIS, you will see that it's completely opposite. So what we do is uh, we rotate it and we use this uh, simple um, formula just to rotate it. Um, so now this is the correct rotation, the correct angle with the Y pointing up is the north. Okay. So once we have done that, going to the sections and we choose section serial so with section serial we have to add the mesh we need to create a curve and we need to define intervals and widths so the first thing is just to create a curve so we create a curve and so we go to the top view and then this curve can be uh, any line in this case I'm using a polyline that goes from the southeast core um, no, northwest to the southeast corner uh, because this is a very interesting topography uh, to create the sections. Now, it can be anything, it can be a curvilinear one, but it also can be a path that follows all the grid. So once we have this, we set one of the curves. Okay, we just need to be sure that we have the mesh at the very end, otherwise we'll start calculating all this using the default information. We have an interval of, let's say, 100 meters, or no, 50 meters. And we're gonna have a width of 150. Maybe, maybe it's small, so it's zero. The interval will be every 100 meters. That sounds good. So now it's time to connect our mesh. So we can connect from here or directly from here from the geometry. Just wait. So we have this, the, our width is just 100 meters. I think is our interval is 50, our width is 100, it's not too much. So perhaps I will increase it a little bit more to see how it works. Um, maybe we need something like 500 meters. This may work better. Just wait up. Okay. So as you can see here, it works better. You see two lines overlapping. And so what we need to do is, first thing is to turn off this customized preview. And then we have here the section, so polylines, and we have um, linear polyline in the Y set plane. So what we want to show is this through a curve, and I will show you. So we connect here, so now you can see all the curves. 
along the section. Okay, you can bake them. And you can move them somewhere here if you want. So this can help you to create visualizations or diagrams or any sort of analysis you want to do later. Okay, this is one option. And we have the type of curves here, which are the defined like the spots that will be unrolled. These are the code, the code um, curves that sections that we want to unroll in a XY. So you can print them or you can export them to, for example, Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so our next step is to section to XY. And we need to use this linear information. Okay, it's a list. So now we have we have them here in row. Okay, each of them are unrolled here. Okay, we have the sections. We have the plane from, the plane to, the plane from, and frame to. Okay, so the first thing is what well, is one to get the sections. Okay, so we can do here is just drive another curve and connect there. If you can see here that it is the curve, we can create a custom review for the geometry and a color swatch. Color swatch. I want them to be perhaps uh, blue, very intense blue. Oh, that's a nice color. Okay. Um, so you can do also with a frame. Okay. These are planes. So let me do that the next step. So now what we have is we can create this frame. Again, these are rectangles. So we can use a curve. Um, okay, I don't see the difference. Oh, these are the frames, frame two, frame from are here, let's see. These are the frames from, and these are the frames two. And we can also use our custom preview, and perhaps we're gonna use a purple color for that custom preview. So, Oh, for some reason it's not working. That's very weird. Anyway, so what we can do now is just to bake these curves, right? So we just bake them. We can send them to any. And we can move them somewhere. Oh, sorry. My mistake. I uh, just change the angle of the line. So everything will change. Okay. So what I want to do is we can select all of these. We can bake, we have to bake them, sorry. Once we bake them, we select them, except this one here. And we just move it on the X axis. We have here all the curves. What we can do now is just go to the top. We can select all of these curves. Um, we can export them. Spark selected, and we can export it as a T um, 3D 3D Studio, or we can send it directly to Adobe Illustrator or DXF file. 
who should be here. Uh, we can send them to the SketchUp or DXF. There is no DXF. Okay. Um, we can send them to Google Earth, which is good. Um, DWG. Uh, DXF is here and DWG here. Okay. We can, yeah. We can also bake both sections and frames. We can send them maybe to do different layers to differentiate the color. So once we have these, we can send all of these and we can export it again and we can fill the bottom part so we have all the section quite well design so this is basically the serial section exercise okay we have another option which is the section profile it's just simply mesh and a curve so we're going to turn off all of these visualizations, all the preview, <clears throat> and we're going to here again select the mesh and define a curve. So here we will create a section along that curve. So in fact, what we need to do is just to turn this curve in this angle. I'm gonna get the section all along the curve. One single profile, not a series of profiles. Okay. Let's do it again. We'll just wait so you can get the section there. And once again, you need a curve here to turn off this and turn on the section so you can see that there. Sorry. You can see the section there green okay so that's a different customization um section type now we are gonna work with the last one which is the section serial distance again we have the mesh i want to make this hidden or faint okay this one needs again a curve and needs distances and width. So the distances will be 25, let's say, and the width can be again 500 meters. So now it's generating. And Empty generic parameter. All this perpendicular to the central line curve at a given point. So there's no information here. So what happened here is distance is from the initial point of the of the section. So what we need to do is just to increase this. Let's say for example 500. So the line will appear here 500 meters. And then, so this is very useful when we know the beginning, when we know, for example, it's better if we rotate again this. So we know that we want to get the section and a specific distance from the H, which is, for example, 500 meters, 1000 meters, or 50 meters. So this is a specific distance that we put there. So it's calculated right now. So once we calculate, we have here a distance of the width, we can increase the width a little bit more. And again, we get a section and we get linear information. So we can, with this linear information, in any case, we just can plot it into the XY. We can do this and connect it. And so we have here a curve and we can bake this curve and make this visualize. So this is the idea of having 
in a specific distance here. Good. So these are the three types of operations to create a serial sections um, and also to create different profiles on, along their curve or in a specific distance from the beginning of the curve. So I hope this is uh, very useful for you and um, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.